Greetings, uh, this is Dr. Wilson again. So in this class, you have looked at different kinds of internet tools, specifically the treasure hunt and the subject sampler. And so it's now your turn to create an internet tool to be used with your technology rich unit plan. Remember that uh, as you've probably learned from the discussions in the discussion area, a treasure hunt is most um, uh, specifically used when there's a bunch of content out on the web that maybe is not in the student's textbook that you want them to get familiar with that goes along with your unit. And so you might have a set of questions and websites that they go to to get those questions. And then you come up with a big question you want them to answer. That big question can actually be some kind of product. Write a letter to the editor of a newspaper expressing your views on, you know, uh, the certain kind of weaponry used in the Civil War or whatever. Maybe it's a, you want to write um, a letter to the president. Maybe you want to um, make a presentation to a group of business owners, uh, persuading them to choose whatever. I mean, so you did that tells something from someone's perspective. I mean, there's all kinds of things that can be, but it's really a, a higher level kind of uh, product that students create that demonstrates their knowledge of those top 10 uh, tips or, to, or that the, excuse me, the questions that you have asked in the treasure hunt. You're going to put this together on Weebly. In fact, on Weebly, so this um, internet tool that we're going to use today, you'll create a portfolio, <coughs> professional portfolio, excuse me. You'll create a uh, website uh, for this portfolio. You'll have your unit plan page on this website. You'll also have a page that's your treasure hunter subject sampler. So you'll have a site, and on the site, you'll have multiple pages within that site. I have linked for you to look at. You'll see in your resources section, there's a template there on the treasure hunt. So you can see kind of the setup of the treasure hunt. It has an introduction. It has questions. And as I said, you want to use 8 to 10 questions. Um, websites that go along with that. Uh, a big question and then a conclusion, what you hope they've learned. I've kind of put in there what goes in each section. Then I also included for you, and you can, I'll just show you because it's linked separately, a subject sampler template. So if you choose to do the subject sampler, it's got different kinds of purposes. And in fact, maybe more appropriate even for younger kids. Here they're just going to a website and based on the content at that website, you have them do a couple of activities not answer questions. If they're answering questions, that's a treasure hunt. This is more like activities that they complete. So here, again, there's an introduction. And then you might send them, for example, let's say they go to HBU's website. One activity might be that they um, would, let's see, the first activity you want them to complete. Maybe they're going to list all the graduate programs available on HBU's website and then come up with three that you might be interested in and summarize their benefits. Okay, so you're not really answering a question. You're doing something with the content. And then on, you know, maybe you'd have them actually apply online. So they do something. Maybe they play, they play a game and then they write a summary statement about the rules they found to be true. Or maybe they print a map and then, uh, you know, put... Um, Martin Luther King's, you know, uh, major speech points on it or something. So, so they, they use content on at least five to eight websites. And they do a couple of activities with content on each of those websites. So you can see as I scroll through here, I'm in the um, editing version of Weebly. And you can see it's full of little boxes as I scroll down. And that's what I want to show you how to do is to work with this editing feature. So before we get started, you'll want to go to Weebly.com. You'll need to complete um, uh, the setup. So you'll want to create a username and password. Um, one thing that you'll want to realize is that when you go to Weebly, and let me back up here a little bit. I'll go to my Weebly.com. 
and I log in, I've had this account for so very long that now I, I was given four different sites that I could use for free. So mine's still a free site. I think now the limit is two. But these are the four different sites. I can have multiple pages within each site. So uh, when they ask you to kind of create what's going to be your domain name or your URL, be careful because whatever you put in there, it has to be one word, one no spaces. At the end, it becomes .weebly.com. So, um, you know, I would put for the name, you could put your first and last name. You could put your last name and put professional portfolio. It's up to you how you do that. But I would want to um, look at that kind of carefully. Don't just randomly put anything. Put something that kind of makes sense. Um, then I'm going to click on edit. This time I'm going to just look at the portfolio page so I can give you a feel for how this will work. And in here you're going to create a portfolio page. So you'll start with an initial page. You'll call it portfolio. Here's my pages tab in here. So I've got a portfolio page. I have a treasure hunt page and I have a technology rich unit plan. So the first page that you make, you can call it professional portfolio. We can actually change which is home and which when they come in, you drag and drop and they change order. Whatever you have at the top becomes your home page. This is the treasure hunt page. And if I'm ready, so I create, I add a page, call it treasure hunt. Come over here and say, now I want to edit the page. And... Now you can see uh, how this is built. And so really, the way you use these features is you just go in and um, drop in page elements from the top down to your page at the bottom. So I'm going to go down here where I have my template, which is what you can see. And it's very easy. Now, you don't have to know any HTML. You can put this page live on the web, and it works really nice and easy. So I'm going to go to Treasure Hunt Template. Let's see what's happened. And down here is my Treasure Hunt. So what I have here is this right here I have taken... And let me just eliminate this right here. So I, if I've drugged down something I don't like, I'm going to exit out. Yes, delete it. So what I did is I took a title and I drug it down here at the top. And then I click to add treasure hunt on whatever your title is. I can choose to center it and I'm done. And then I drag my next element down. So in this case, I want to take and drag down title with text. So I drug this down here and I'm going to put, here's my introduction. Here I'll copy this text type. Now I'm going to delete the second box. And so you just keep dragging down elements. If you decided that you wanted a picture to go with your treasure hunt, I would drag down the picture element and it could go right underneath. And then I would click to add a picture. Of course, to add a picture here, I need to already have it saved on my computer. So let's say I say upload. It's going to browse to my computer desktop. Uh, let's say I pick this picture of our pillars here at HBU. So what you're going to do is follow the template and put the different pieces together that you need to do in order to complete either a treasure hunt or a subject sampler. Now here's the trick. In this Weebly editor, we do not... Oh, and when you're doing the... Well, as you're working on this, in order to save it, on the top right, you click Publish. So let's say I click Publish. It publishes it to my site. Now, here's the trick. 
ignore this piece here in the middle. This is how they're trying to sell you something. But instead, right up here, oh, excuse me, I can click on it, and it takes me now to my live site where I have the treasure hunt, and this is what it looks like live, okay? Then I can just minimize that or X out of that, and here I am, X out of this, so I have published it, it is saved, I'm going to X out right here, and I can continue to work. Now, let me show you how to add websites. So, if I want to list some websites in here, there's a couple of ways to do this. So, I can say, number one, this is http colon slash slash www.hbu.edu. I can list it like that, but it's not going to be very pretty. What I think looks much more professional is to take the web address that you want to send them to, so X that out, add a title for the website, whatever you want it to be, and actually this should say, highlight the text that you want the link to be on, and this button right up here is the universal link button, create a link, I'm going to click it, I want to create a link to a URL, I'm going to paste my URL here, and I like for it to open in a new window, so I can always just X out and go back. So now I'm going to save it. You'll notice that it's got a different color when it's linked. I'm going to publish. I'm going to go to the site live. Go to my treasure hunt page. Here's where I made my changes. Here's my linked site. Click on it. Notice it opens in a new window. Takes me to HBU's website. So, that's the way you add your links. If you have smaller children that you're creating this for, you might want to put on here, so let me get out of the live version. I may want to say this is question one, and in the question, embed the website. If I do that, I can highlight the word website, Click on the link button, put the URL, open in a new window, and save. So that way, you're going to have questions and websites in the same section instead of separate. So that's up to you, but I think for smaller children, that may be an easier way to access information. I think you'll agree. So when you finish creating either your treasure hunt or your subject sampler, you will publish you will go to the live web page where it sits, finished, copy that URL, submit it in the assignment section for me to see. I'll give you feedback if you need it. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Remember, you're always dragging down page elements to the page, and then you fill the elements with text. Okay? It's pretty easy, I think you'll find. So enjoy creating the tool, have a great time. We'll be back in touch.